What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we got a live attack, Town Hall 12, you know me, I'm using my Super Witches, trying to get the triple on this base. I don't always use Super Witches, I used Miners in the my first attack for this war, got the triple, but this base is asking for it, so we're going to give it the Super Witches. Let me tell you the plan, then we'll do the attack. Um, basically, you're going to start off with a little Warden Walk, as I usually do, I'm going to put the Warden here. The clan castle range is something like that, so I'm not too worried about him triggering the CC. I'm going to use a Valk uh, to help, which also should not trigger the CC. And I might follow up with some minions or wizards to speed things up. It's really important that you have enough time for this attack, so it has to be a quick warden walk. Mainly want to get like this archer tower down, um, and then once that looks like it's about to go down, uh, I'll start pulling the Warden with a Witch. It's a little bit tight in there, but I think I can get it done. I have some experience doing this uh, technique. Other side, as that's going on, we're dropping down the King on the Cannon. Tesla Pops might complicate things, but not as much as it otherwise would, because I'm going to have a Siege Barracks up here eventually to uh, deploy my uh, Hogs, which is something that if you guys know this attack strategy, you know the Siege Barracks is kind of used on the outskirts. Uh, to deploy some hogs and kind of follow up with those witches, give another front to the uh, attack. But anyway, the king is going to basically create the funnel on this side in one form or another. The jump spell is going to go uh, right like that. And I'm uh, just going to drop down most of my super witches here, going in like this. And I got the quad quakes. Uh, we're going to drop them like that. I might even drop them uh, right around the beginning of the attack just to make it easier for myself. Less, uh, less to do during the attack. There's really no reason not to. As soon as I start my Warden and get him going, I'll probably do that. Um, help the Warden out, switch over to the King, and then go with uh, the Witches. But like I said, um, sooner rather than later, the Siege Barracks is going to go down here. Pekka should get some value, uh, get whatever the King doesn't get, and then the Hogs will probably target this Archer Tower or something. I'll reinforce with like four of my own Hogs. Got the heal for him. The other spells are the two rages for the super witches. And I think everything's going to kind of converge on the back end and just hopefully we have enough time to get it done, guys. Let's go over into Clash, give it a try, and um, see how this one goes. This is a brutal war for us. I mean, the hit rate on the other clan is, is very good right now. And some of those were scouts. So they've been hitting close to 75%, I think, for the uh, 11s and 12s. We have been hitting, I think, around 50%, a little low, a little below 50. Um, I think we have done some scouts. Uh, well, some of these are actually Town Hall 13, so these bases may or may not have been scouted. I don't know, but we, we did fine with 11s. The 12s don't look bad either. I'm wondering where all the attacks are going. Um, they're just we we've used a lot of attacks, I guess, um, is the reason that we have so many of these bases tripled. So. This is an important attack uh, to get this one done. And um, as you can see, I'm not in one high Genesis. We use a, a different clan uh, as part of our clan alliance for this uh, league that we're in here. It's different than the CWL invite in which one high Genesis is participating. But enough boring stuff, let's get to the attack. Um, looks like I have everything, got the quakes. Um, spells look good, got the right CC stuff. And then, Everything looks great. Um, let's go ahead and hit attack. And just remember, we're doing the... Remember the order here. We're going to do the Warden. The uh, troops to help him. Uh, might wait on the healers so that they don't pull to like the Valk or something. And then we're going to do the Quakes. And the King after that. And then we're just kind of going. Alright, let's do this. So we'll put the Warden right there. One. Oh, okay, that's gonna pop. There's the Valk to help. Quakes are down. Do a little wizard to help that. Healer's there. That warden's gonna take just a little longer, but he should target the archer tower next. Meanwhile, let's get the king going. A 
Nice pull on the Warden. This is looking really good. Siege Barracks up there. We'll hit the King. Drop the Queen. Wizard Balloon to help out. So far looks perfect, guys. We're going to get ready for the Warden's ability. Let's see. Let's see. Right. Do it right there. Warden's ability has been used. Get ready to reinforce with hogs. Drop the rage too. Once we need it. Here come the hogs. Put a wizard out there to help keep things in the base, hopefully. Heal spell for the hogs. Come on, super witches, stay in the base. I'm using these wizards to try to help them stay inside the base. Looks like they're coming back around, which is good. We'll get them... Uh, Raged up right here. Come on, healers. Get on the front super witches, not the ones in the back. Gotta hit the queen's ability. Um, she's on some skellies, which kind of sucks here. I don't know, guys. It's hard to tell right now. We have about a minute left. Um, I have a few troops. I can start deploying them in the corners, perhaps. Queen is going to go down, which isn't good because she's the main damage dealer, but I have a lot. I think I have all my super witches as I as I usually do. It's all about time here, guys. Um, let's put a wizard right there. Get working on that mortar and some other stuff. Let's get a minion here. Then we're going to put another minion. Um, we're going to need it probably for that army camp. I think we got it. Um, those big skeleton things will... Clean up the top, looking good, got the three star. As usual, I think, I may have lost one super witch actually. Yeah, I count three of them. So they did kill one of them. Typically, what's gonna get you in this type of attack is gonna be time, um, which is an odd enemy to have, especially at a high town hall level. It's not the defense, it's just the time that is typically your enemy with this attack. Or your troops just completely leave the base and there's some multi-inferno that just slowly picks them off or something like that. Um, but in this case, went smoothly, went as the attack should go. Someone left the clan. There's a nice little uh, GG for me. And we'll take a look at the replay, just talk it through as we go times two. Um, but I think it, the beginning was perfect. You know, textbook, uh, textbook setup. The only thing was the funnel was not enough. Um, the warden, you know, creates the initial funnel. But for Super Witches, which are the hardest troop in the game to funnel, I would argue, and I've talked about why in previous videos, um, you need such a good funnel, not just initially, but like deeper on. And on the top, it was perfect. The King, as you'll see, let me go times one actually, just because there's a lot to say. Um, the King does a great job. He's, he's gonna kind of team up with the P.E.K.K.A. on the top of the base. And the combination is going to like create the funnel by actually getting in there, taking out the eagle, just taking out a ton of stuff on the top of the base. Um, but the problem is, after the initial funnel, there's these trash buildings like down here, and that is what is going to start to pull the witches. Um, but uh, like I said, the top funnel is good. Right here, um, a baby dragon would have been perfect. I, I, you know, I'd easily had the troop space drop a hog or a wizard, or I guess both, and. Um, bring a baby dragon, maybe even a loon too, to kind of test for seeking air mines. Um, but that would have been a good adjustment there. Um, meanwhile, or fortunately, I was able to use the wizards to kind of adjust to that, take out these storages. Everything eventually pushes back in. The hogs did a decent job up top. The only problem was they just got targeted by so much since the witches had shifted so far down in the base. It was uh, leaving the queen and a ton of other damage on the hogs, but they did clear that compartment, which was important. Got that multi inferno down, which would not have been reachable by um, the witches or the queen or anything. And then right here, um, the healers get back on the super witches. There was kind of a weird situation where they were healing these random super witches that were kind of beating on a wall, and the ones going out and taking fire were not getting healed. Um, so you got to be careful with that, but. In this case, um, it worked out well. I'm starting to think to make this strategy even more powerful, if it would be worth it to only bring like three healers or even bring no healers. I mean, I've seen the variation that has no healers and brings like golems instead. Um, but I'm starting to think even just if you adapt this a little bit to go down to three healers, you can maybe bring a little more damage, whether it's trying to fit in a fifth super witch 
or trying to bring another like you know P.E.K.K.A type troop it would make things move quicker and the healers don't seem to be totally necessary or not as necessary as it would be for a P.E.K.K.A or a Yeti attack just because these witches seem so hard to kill but I could be wrong if it's don't if it's not broke uh, don't fix it I guess and it's been working well for me got the three star there it is guys hope you enjoyed if you're new hit the subscribe and uh, join the Discord. That's also a new thing to shout out. The Discord um, is available to everyone. Love seeing you guys there. Love chatting um, and hope to continue to talk to you guys there. That'll do it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, ISECT, in the settings tab of your game and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.